morning, everyone. Um, I'm here to talk about the Global Project on Measuring the Progress of Societies, which is an OECD-hosted project on uh, quality of life and well-being indicators. I'd like to start off with, uh, with a quotation um, from Robert Kennedy, uh, 1968, at the uh, University of, of Kansas. Too much and too long, we seem to have surrendered community excellence and community values in the mere accumulation of material things. Our gross national product, if we should judge America by that, counts air pollution, cigarette advertising, and ambulances to clear our highways of carnage. It counts special locks for our doors and the jails for those who break them. It counts the destruction of our redwoods, the loss of our natural wonder in chaotic sprawl. It counts napalm and the cost of a nuclear warhead and armored cars for police who fight riots in our streets. Yet, the gross national product does not allow for the health of our children, the quality of their education, or the joy of their play. It does not include the beauty of our poetry or the strength of our marriages, the intelligence of our public debate, or the integrity of our public officials. It measures neither our wit nor our courage, neither our wisdom nor our learning, neither our compassion nor our devotion to our country. It measures everything, in short, except that which makes life worthwhile. So that's sort of the starting point for, um, for this presentation and also for the, for the project. Um, Measuring progress is a, is a, it really is a trend from, from, the, from the grassroots. Um, there, there are issues with this increasing gap between official statistics on economic performance and how people perceive their own living conditions. There is a real risk of people losing faith in, in government's ability to address what matters for them, which of course has implications for the very, very functioning of, of democracy. Um, a very big part of this, of this project is uh, uh, the 2009 report by the Commission on the Measurement of Economic Performance and Social Progress, the stieglitz Send for Tusi Commission, um, which in that report it said that in, in France and in the, United, in the United Kingdom alone, only one third of citizens actually trust official figures. And these countries are not, are not exceptions. There often seems to be a market distance between the standard measure of important socioeconomic variables like economic growth, inflation, unemployment, and the widespread <coughs> exceptions that affect the way policy is made. The Global Project is, is concerned with, with that which matters to, to citizens. Um, but the complication, of course, lies in the fact that every society has their own priorities, their own preferences, and calls on all sorts of cultural and very uh, subjective uh, measures, which is why uh, this is quite topical in the United Kingdom right now with, uh, with David Cameron uh, deciding to, to measure subjective uh, well-being, and, um, and also Australia is doing the same with their measuring Australia's progress. This is their second round of this. Um, but David Cameron, I was looking on their website last night, um, on the ONS website, and they're doing a survey where you, it's a 10-minute survey where you go through the go to the site and you decide what's important to you. So they're going to they're pull all that data together and they're going to try to try to make some some policy out of that. And um, and it's, there's a quote on the website that says to develop better measures of nation's well-being, we want to consult with people, organizations, and businesses across the UK as well as central and local government to ask what matters most in people's lives and what is important for measuring the nation's well-being. Well, I hope one of the questions is about commuting, because this morning was really, <laughs> really a lot. Um, a little bit about income inequality, the, you know, the, the broad spectrum of this. Income inequality widened in three quarters of OECD countries between 1985 and, uh, and 2005. Um, here shows a graph of uh, wealthier populations are not necessarily more satisfied uh, with their lives. Um, beyond GDP, this is also focusing on households and, uh, and individuals' uh, well-being. Um, GDP calculations include economic activities that reduce well-being, such as traffic, pollution, congestion, uh, traffic congestion. Those. Uh, or those which remedy the cost of economic growth 
like pollution abatement. Economic resources like unpaid care work, um, most of the existing indicators used to inform about quality of life neglect issues related to unpaid domestic work. Um, and this is important because as for other personal activities, a direct measure of the quantity of time devoted to these domestic chores should be compiled um, based on time use surveys. Such data in turn would allow for computing the measure of inequality between men and women uh, in the distribution of these unpaid domestic activities. Um, and lack of contact with other people in normal daily living is both a symptom and a cause of, of, of social distress. Social isolation can be measured through questions asking people about the frequency of their contacts with other people. Um, and GDP is not a tool of economic projections which would make it subjective, it's just a measurement of economic activity. That is why it does not measure what is considered the sustainability of growth. For example, oil-rich states can, can sustain high GDP, but when they run out of oil, uh, that's the end of that. Um, economies experiencing economic bubbles, housing bubbles, tech bubbles, stock bubbles, uh, a low um, private saving rate tend to appear to grow faster owing to higher consumption, mortgaging their futures on, on present growth. But what is the OECD doing? So there's two things. Um, uh, there's the OECD work on progress, uh, and there's also the global project. So the global project is, is um, several organizations uh, that are working together. There, there's a board, which is actually being restructured at the moment. There are correspondents, of which MIMAS is, is a correspondent of the global project. There are associates who work on the global project in terms of specific events that they might do. Um, and all of this sort of started in 2003, where the OECD began addressing these issues. Um, and then they also have events that are going to be uh, happening all the way up until 2012, which is the next uh, global forum. The last three were uh, in 2004 in Palermo, Istanbul in 2007, and Busan in 2009. And um, there's, there's a, a research part of this that the OECD is working on, where the OECD is working on indicators for progress for OECD countries. Um, whereas there's also the global project where there are other partners like the World Bank, UNDP, who are better placed to look at, um, at, at non-OECD countries um, you know, from a wider, a wider spectrum. Uh, but the OECD, being the host of this, currently also works on creating this network of networks, which is part of the correspondence that MIMAS is also part of, and uh, the associates. Um, and we also have a, a, a wiki that we, we are encouraging people to, to contribute to. Uh, sort of the political spectrum of this, uh, President Sarkozy set up the Stieglitz and Fatusi Commission, uh, which produced that report that I mentioned earlier. The EU com uh, communication on GDP and beyond is going on right now. The G20 um, leaders' statement in Pittsburgh and Toronto encouraged the work on measurement methods so as to better take into account the social and environmental dimensions of economic development. EU 2020, from creating the most competitive and dynamic knowledge-based economy in the world to turning the EU into a smart, sustainable, and inclusive society. And the conclusions on the OECD ministerial, um, our, our Secretary General, there are eight priorities uh, for the next biennium, and measuring progress is one of them. So the Global Project is moving into a new phase. Uh, we have a new chief statistician at the OECD, Martine Devant, and with new leadership comes new, uh, new structures, new priorities, and, um, and what the OECD is fo focusing on is the development of these indicators. For the 50th anniversary of the OECD, there will be a set of indicators released around a publication and, uh, and a tool that will also be able to better visualize these indicators. Um, and the OECD will also be streamlining regional events. We have one coming up in Mexico in May, and then we have a couple of others, of one in Japan, I believe, one in the Middle East, and uh, one in Africa, all leading up to the, the final um, 2012 uh, forum in India. And then, of course, Wiki Progress, which I will show you in a minute, uh, which is sort of bringing in any, many other actors, civil society, um, who are also interested and in working, uh, working on these indicators. So I think now I'll pull us out of 
PowerPoint um, for a few minutes and go into a video. Uh, okay, so here's here's the here's Wiki Progress. Um, it's set up like a Wiki Media Wiki uh, platform. Um, it allows anybody to come in and, and log in and get an account. Um, we have, as you can see here, we have featured articles, recent activity. One of the, uh, you can see here, the big thing, UK measurement of citizens' well-being uh, is announced. Uh, the National Well-Being Project has come in and written a nice article on, on what's happening here. And that happened actually on the day uh, before it went out to the media. It got here just because of our, of, of our contacts, which is, which is great. Um, it's, this started in 2009. It was launched in, in Busan. We currently have about 400 editors on the site, all coming from national statistics offices, academics, uh, NGOs, um, quite, a, quite a broad range, actually. Um, here you'll see the news and events. We have this event is, is on the site, of course. Um, we also show like when World Statistics Day is going on. We keep that up because that actually is a big hitter still. Uh, our Twitter account is very active. Uh, we have a blog also, uh, which invites several different, um, outside of the OECD, even outside of the Global Project, people come in and blog on what's happening, get different kinds of uh, people with their different points of view. Uh, we have a community portal, uh, which is quite active. Uh, whenever there's any work going on about, you know, or, or stuff out of the media on, um, on progress, we put it up here, so it's a very comprehensive media review of what's going on. So for example, UK to measure happiness, we have uh, media from around the world on you know, how people are feeling and thinking about, about this. Uh, we've even gone further into it. We bring in blogs, so our set of blogs you can see, and people actually coming into this site, going to the blog and, and commenting. So it's kind of a nice way to see um, uh, you know, where all of this is, is coming from. Um, we have a little bit about uh, the wiki correspondence here. Uh, we have about 30 correspondents right now. Um, a lot of them are national statistics offices. Some of them are research organizations. Um, some of them are NGOs. Uh, and they are sort of responsible for their country. It's at kind of the country level. So whatever's going on in the UK, uh, the UK correspondent will let us know what's going on or we invite each other to, to different conferences, or and we link back and forth to each other's sites. Um, and then we've got, let's see here. Okay, so then we've got categories. Uh, this is our biggest category right now, is human well-being. So you, people will come in, they'll write articles, and they'll categorize the articles. So uh, you can actually see that we've got probably about 50 under, under uh, human well-being. You can also uh, look at all of this at the country level. Um, here are the indicators. Uh, this is called wikiprogress.stat. Uh, any of you who are f familiar with oecd.stat, it's the same thing, we just cloned it. And this is only for progress indicators. So we have about 120 data sets right now coming from uh, OECD, World Bank. Uh, we also have some researchers who are creating combined data sets and putting them up. We have one called Is Life Getting Better? Uh, where we pull together a lot of uh, indicators, composite indicators, trying to measure um, whether or not life is indeed getting better. And then we get lots of comments on that back and forth. And, and uh, it really is a kind of an informal discussion area on progress. Um, here we've got our tool. Uh, it's called eExplorer. And uh, you can see here that you've got uh, by the country by countries. And here we're sort of measuring, we're looking at Italy and total fertility rates and uh, comparing that to employment. Um, and you can also see here that you can, you can compare two different countries. So if you want Italy, you can see this is over time from, uh, what is that, from 85 to 2006. And then you can also go to, um, you can ch uh, check off any other indicator you'd like to see. And you can uh, compare that. Here's a comparison over time with the United States. So uh, this actually, this tool is, is forthcoming. We hope it'll be ready by uh, January or so. Um, but yeah, that's, that's part, of, you know, part of what we're doing as well. We're very interested in data visualization and trying to get a discussion going around how these indicators, how these indicators are actually being looked at and how they're, how they're being interpreted. Um, and I think I'll, I'll go ahead and stop there. This can kind of go on and on here. 
Um, but yeah, here's uh, more sort of visualizing of, of how this is all working. Um, yeah, I think I'll stop there, but I just wanted to say uh, thank you very much for having the OECD here today, and um, if you have any questions about the Global Project, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you. Thank you.